In this video we're going to be taking a look at RipX software for PC and Mac. This software really is the closest you're going to be able to get to almost putting your hand inside of a record and being able to drag any part of it out, whether it be the piano, guitar, the vocals or the drums, and really be able to analyse it, manipulate it, to slow it down, change the pitch, uh, and really figure out all the notes and exactly what's going on. We're going to look at this from a, from the point of view of a transcriber, somebody who's trying to work out how to play songs. Uh, you could use it in connection with other audio software and recording software and be able to use it with your own um, compositions. So, But we are looking at this from the aspect of trying to work out how to play songs, which is a really, really handy thing to do. Really what you're doing is you're opening up audio files so mp3s, wave files, midi files, all such stuff. So I've got it actually open here. If you go to file and you click open, and in this particular case, obviously with working out how to play Queen songs, I've got my Queen back catalog there in mp3. So if I click on that, I could click on open. In this case, I'm gonna uh, open, keep yourself alive. Now I've already done that because um, when it analyzes it, uh, the mp3 my computer in this particular case takes about 15 minutes to do so so obviously you don't want to wait for that so I've done this beforehand and as you can see um, in the layers there you've got the vocals the piano the guitar the bass the kick drum drums percussion and you can see on screen that everything's laid out there individually you've got the piano down the side um, so you can figure out which notes are being played, which is what we want. So go all the way at the beginning there. Um, one nice little feature is, which isn't important for working songs out, but looks pretty. In this case, I've got a uh, Keep Yourself Live single cover. If I drag that across there, it shows up in the background. Like I say, not essential but uh, aesthetically looks good. Now if I take the guitar part here and um, I can change the colour of it, um, change colour, so I'm going to turn the guitar part to green so it stands out, so that's the guitar part. If I click solo, so it's just that's what's going to be played. So, so that's playing that. You can see the chord boxes have come up and you're left with, with um, no doubt that the first note here being been played is F. Now I already know how to play this one, but what's really interesting for like a deep analysis of a song is the fact that, if I can go all the way back to the beginning, is it starts off with, there's always been um, a little bit of a sliding into the F. And I've never been able to get it quite right, but if you look right at the beginning here, you see a G note's being played, going up to a slightly just G sharp, so it's as if it goes from G slightly up and then down to the F. Now when the guitar tab that's been out for years for this one, it always shows that the F note's been played, and it's never quite, it does sound a bit empty. And I've watched a video of Brian May explain how he plays this one, but what's interesting is when you look at this, you can see here, there's an A note keeps coming up. So we know that the way it's being played is with the open A being hit, the F being the dominant note, which is really interesting. Now, you can see that it knows it's at 148 beats per minute. You've got your chord boxes there, which are handy. If I slow this right down, because rhythmically this is a funny one to play, uh, so if I practice and so if I apply that to rip, I've changed it to 100 beats per minute, it's going to play it slowly for you. There we go, so if I begin and press play. <laughs> Really, 
again where uh, you've isolated it you've slowed it down you can see what the notes are and you're able to play along with it if you wanted to make a backing track you could take the vocals out uh, you could take the guitar out and you're just left with the bass and the drums again and if you wanted to save that you file and you can export and you can rip it as a as a wave as a wave file one thing worth noting is when you go to open a file up say in this case we'll see we will rock you you have the the option there that comes up whether you want the voice or the instrument separate highest quality bass drum so on and so forth and then you would click rip which i forgot to mention that bit so another uh, thing that i liked about this was i tried uh, one vision from the live magic um album a lot of forgotten album funny enough and we looked at one 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 vision so i've already been looking at this one um so for example if i go to audio because i've been messing around with it i can reset the rip so if i reset it it's going to take it right back to where we began and in this particular one there's a lot of noise so you can hear that the audience now what I want to be able to do and what I've done is slowed it down isolated it when there's a little lead bit at the in the intro that I've never been able to figure out how to play properly. So what I did was I copied and pasted it and we'll look at how to do this shortly. So there I copied and pasted it into a new so I went to file new. So I selected the guitar solo, copied and pasted it and cleaned up a lot of the noise. And then I was able to hear exactly what was going on. Now that slowed right down and it sounds a little bit like what on earth is that. But you can go and you can figure out. The first note D goes up and I've ended up with it tabbed out so I know exactly how to play it. I was able to clean it up which I've also done with in the case of Killer Queen again there you go um, just go along there you've got the so in this case if I was if you look at the layers see the piano if I just isolate the piano and here we go and what I did with this one was again I looked at the guitar solo isolated it um, cleaned it up a bit because there was notes coming in from elsewhere and I ended up with this could use that for anything by that work and how to play it I could remix it do a whole lot of stuff now lastly what we wanted to look at was Bohemian Rhapsody okay, I'll just save that now you'll know I think everybody knows Bohemian Rhapsody has got a lot going on in it <laughs> um, so what I did was, um, if we go to the guitar, isolate the guitar, again, the chord boxes come up. Now, the guitar solo starts at 
here, number 93 there. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to select that, and now we can close that, take it all the way, and there we go. I want to go to edit, so I'm going to copy, go to file, new, and then I'm going to edit, and I'm going to paste. So there's the guitar solo. Now what I can do with this, I can change the pitch, I can move it down, so... <laughs> So that's changed the pitch if I want to go back just undo and really I can analyze every part of that um, or I can use it for something else so all in all I'm really impressed with this software moving forward I'm going to be able to uh, do some like deep analysis of particular songs the fact that you can also sometimes with when working songs out is staying in the case of queen you know it's easy to go out and get a guitar tab book with uh, the greatest hits but there's like um rare songs you kind of get a hold of how to play and yet very difficult sometimes to hear what's going on in the case of um live tracks sometimes it, you can't hear what's going on with this you've got a better chance of being able to hear what's going on you can slow it down take stuff out just the other day I was watching a video and it was uh, Slash of Guns N' Roses was playing a Led Zeppelin riff and he said that he'd spent years not knowing exactly how to play it because he couldn't hear exactly what, what was going on and he eventually um, it was John Bonham's son had to explain to him how the riff was actually played so it just shows you at that high level it is still difficult, especially within rock music, to always be able to hear exactly what's going on in the record. And this software really gives you a fighting chance of being able to work things out. Like you say, you can go a whole lot more. If you look in the right hand corner, there's all these like, um, you can add harmonies to things for your own compositions. You could add harmonies, you can manipulate it to no end uh, with vocals. In a case of, if we look at uh, a grip cool cut which um, seems to be quite um, popular in America at the minute because it's been used on an advert. Uh, if you look at the the vocals, so you've got Freddie's vocals there, but you can actually move them up. Or you can move them down. And that's brilliant for manipulation so you can see that the, the possibilities are endless so as always thank you for watching i'll put all the links there's a manual for how this works i'll put a link uh, in the description along with uh, the link for being able to download this so as always thank you for watching